Hello everyone, I'm Human Hard Drive, and today uh, in an Arduino tutorial we're going to be talking about controlling high power devices. Uh, specifically in this video we're going to be talking about controlling one of these, which is just a simple 5 volt DC motor. But uh, that could be any high power device. It could be, uh, say, a stepper motor, or a high powered LED, anything that would require more current than I think it is the 40 milliamps that a GPIO on the Arduino can put out. Now, to do this, you could use, say, a transistor or a MOSFET, but it's each of these has one of their draw, uh, is some drawback. A transistor requires a little bit of math and thinking and is generally a pain because you've got to do all these calculations and you've got to be very conscious of at what current you're operating this at. The MOSFET, it's nice, and I probably would use this if I didn't have the solution I have now, but uh, it is a bit big and bulky, and also has the current issue that the transistor does, just in a different way. So, what we're going to be using is one of these. This is a... Let's see if I can zoom in on it a bit. Let's get it to refocus. There we go. This is a, and I know you can't see it, it's a UNE2003. And basically what it is, is it allow, it's a very simple controlling device. Um, you apply voltage on one side and it controls whatever's on the other side. So, to do, so today we're going to use this to control this. It's a really simple and easy chip to use, as you shall now see. Okay, to start, uh, we're going to take a jumper. Let's see if I can tilt this using uh, something. There we go. Tilt that ever so slightly. And I've got too much light. So I'll, I'll just tilt it by hand. Okay, so. That's my chair. Alright. So to start with, uh, I'm going to take pin 0, 1, 2 on the Arduino. And I'm going to connect it to the third pin up from the bottom on the 2003, like so, and that's our control pin, so pin 2 will be the control pin for the motor. Then I'm going to take another jumper, and at the very bottom of the chip, on the left hand side, I'm going to connect to ground on the Arduino. And now we're going to control the motor itself. Uh, where did I put that bugger? Motor. There it is. So, to do this, uh, I'm going to need a couple alligator leads. Uh, one lead is going to connect to one side of the motor, like so. And then that other lead is going to connect here. Then that's going to be connected to 5 volts on the Arduino. So, reset 3.3 volt, 5 volt. So, that's connected to the 5 volt line. Okay, then the other lead on the motor is going to connect by a jumper to the other side of the control pin. So if we draw a line across, it's going to be connected to here, the third pin up on the right hand side. So what's happening is when we apply voltage to this pin, it's going to allow current to flow from 5 volts, the red line, through the motor, causing it to turn on, and then out the black jumper into the chip, and it's actually going to flow back out to ground. Now, I just want to make a note here. Uh, if you've seen my video talking about motors and inductors, you know that you should probably have a flyback diode in this circuit, something to protect, um, protect against inductive kickback. Uh, I'm not going to use that. Uh, this is a 5-volt motor, and I've done this before. It hasn't caused an issue yet. But if you're going to be using something a little more powerful than this dinky little motor, I do suggest a flatback diode, uh, a diode which would connect between the output of the motor here and the voltage source, which I'd have to set up. Well, you'd have to set up another jumper so that it can fly back and self and protect. Ooh, kick my camera. Uh, protect the Arduino. But again, 
make sure you have a flyback diode. I'm not using one because I don't have one lying around, and I trust this. So with that, let's go ahead and look at It's really some easy, simple code. So, really simple. Uh, set pin 2, pin mode 2. We'll make that an output. And then in the void loop, we just say digital write 2 high. We'll delay that for about a second. And then we'll write 2 low. And then we'll delay that again for another second. And that's it. That is really all it takes to turn the motor on and turn the motor off, or turn any high power device on. So the LED, um, switch something, the stepper motor, control a relay, all that takes. You just have to say, you turn the pin on and it turns the device on. You turn the pin off, you turn the device off. Extremely simple. Now because this is a motor, I could do something with PWM and by sweeping the duty cycle I can change the speed of the motor, but because I don't have any way to show you how fast the motor is spinning, I'm just going to turn the motor on and off. But you can do that. So that's really it. So let's just verify that this code is okay. It really should be because there's not much to it. Yep, it is. So let's go ahead and upload this and see what it does. Okay, so we've got our very simple program uploaded. Uh, I've disconnected the control wire for the motor for just a second. I'm going to move this into shot. There we go. And now I'm going to reconnect it. And as you can see, that very simple code is turning it on for a second and then turning it off for a second. So it's pretty simple. And I'll just unplug that because that's really annoying. So, again, with, just with this one simple chip, you can control a, a high power device like a motor. Now, the thing about this chip is it has, I think, five slots? Yeah, five slots. You can control five devices with just this one chip. So, again, you can control stepper motors. You could actually use this if you've seen some videos online of people making music with um, floppy drives. This is probably the chip they use because you can control several devices with just one Arduino. So, really good chip, the UNE2003. So, check that out. So, I'm Human Hard Drive. Thanks for watching.